Hey, Kyle Wilson here. Welcome to the channel. And in this video, we'll be talking about the cryptocurrency market and the OMI token and ILV token. We'll also be talking about should you be concerned? Should you be buying the dip? Let's just go ahead and dive right in. All right, so we'll be addressing a few things. You know, are we in cryptocurrency winter? Should you be concerned? Should you be buying the dip? And why are things in the downturn right now? So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the charts. By the way, if you're not subbed to the channel, hit that subscription and notification bell and consider joining the YouTube membership if you are not already for less than a cup of coffee. But let's take a look at this. So Bitcoin has been oversold here on the RSI 7 period, but I'm still kind of waiting and seeing what the overall macro is going to do. And obviously there's been external factors outside of cryptocurrency that has also played into this. It says right here that, you know, with the whole Russia situation, that basically they are potentially invading Ukraine and talks of war. So that is definitely affecting the overall, you know, market sentiment. So as well as the Fed, talking about hiking interest rates and being very hawkish on the market as well. So these are definitely causing a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the overall you know, market. And it is affecting not only stocks, but crypto as you know, investors are pulling out and putting their investments into stable types of investments like USD cash or you know, stable coins and things of that nature. So you know, that has been going on for weeks now. And I do potentially see this as being maybe a possible rebound point here coming soon and i'm actually excited now i don't know if this is going to dip any further or how much more we can go but i definitely am keeping a keen eye on this bottom trend line here to see you know where bitcoin might go i definitely am glued to the charts and glued to fundamental analysis of the macroeconomic side of things right now as well and should you be concerned you should be a little concerned if you are overextended for sure or you know depending on where your investments are at but i wouldn't be in a complete panic mode because it's never a good idea to panic sell because something that could happen in the next day or so where you know putin decides to pull back and the fed all of a sudden gets you know less hawkish and things turn around relatively quickly and develop fast right and that could play off, you know, if you panic sold and the next day or week or so, the market rebounds, you kind of are locked out and you could have had all those potential gains. So I wouldn't be entirely concerned, but also I would be excited on the investor side. This is also easier said than done. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice as well, as you guys know, if you've been watching the channel, but those are all the things that I'm considering when I'm taking a look at all these prices. Now, uh, I cover the OMI token a lot on my channel, as you know. This one has definitely tanked for sure, and it is quite oversold on the chart here on the RSI 7, as well as the RSI 14 period, and breach basically below that Bollinger Band. I do think this one's gonna like rebound pretty hard, but time will tell. Obviously, I'm analyzing the macro side of things. Now, on the ILV token, I do believe this one's gonna consolidate sideways for a little bit, and uh, this one may rebound as well in the short term, but I am taking a close look from now until that token unlock next month to see where things might go and potentially off obviously buying the dip if there's going to be even a bigger dip there or what have you there. I might DCA, so time will tell depending on, like I said, the macro side of things in the market. That's when you are should be the most excited as an investor when there is max fear and max pain in the market. So with that being said, I wanted to fill you guys in, maybe hopefully fill your head with a little bit of more on the excited side because that's when I get excited when I see dips and when I see market pullbacks, I get excited because that's where you get your big gains. And I don't see that these external factors being a long term, you know, uh, basically thing as far as cryptocurrency goes itself. There's not internal problems with the cryptocurrency market. All the conditions are external to crypto. And I think that is a good sentiment to have. So for that reason, I am not panicking at one bit at all. And yeah, so that's all I got for this video. Smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed and hit that sub and bell if you're not already subbed. And I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one at the blockchain and be like an NFT, be authentic, and I'll see y'all later.